All right, this is it. What do we got here? Yeah, baby. 100 miles on the Appalachian Trail. Stephanie, you realize that we only have 2,100 miles to go. How cool is that? We're like almost done. Press on. Well, we run a little bit low on water. I think this is a perfect time to go ahead and stop here and uh, fill up. It's a nice, nice little spring. That little pool right there looks very inviting, but it's probably ice cold. at Long Creek Shelter to get some water and then we got back on the trail and this is it. This is the trail now. The, uh, the trail has become a stream. So we got that going for us. I can only show you a little bit of it this way. I'll have to, um, I'm gonna have to put this up so I don't end up uh, injuring myself hiking down, a, uh, hiking down the middle of the stream. I guess it's kind of off to the side, but yeah, maybe I can go for a little bit so you can uh, see what's going on here. Oh, check that out. Yeah. So. That's a little waterfall. Yeah. Very yeah, cool little waterfall. And it goes right off down that way somewhere. So Steph and I were just strolling down like chatting, not even paying no attention to what was going on, and suddenly, boom, here we are. We're at the shelter, it's right through there. It's only 3.30. I don't even think we can stay now. I think we might have to go on into Franklin. I don't know. Let me, uh, let me think about it a minute. Hey, where are we going? Winding what? Yeah, Winding Stair Gap. We decided not to stay at the shelter. We're only 3.8 miles out. We're gonna book it to Winding. Winding what? Winding Stair Gap. I must be tired. Um, anyway, uh, it's only about two and a half miles left to go and we need to uh, bust that out in about an hour. So we're really uh, turning on the afterburners. Woo, hustling down here to the, um, I don't know, I don't know what gap we're on. I'm like, winding stairs. I can't, I've been told that six times. I can't remember. So I'm, I must be delirious. Okay. Anyway, came across this little uh, creek here and we got a cool little uh, water crossing here. Dun, dun, dun. If any of you guys have ever watched uh, Dixie and Homemade Wanderlust, uh, she talks about she's got that going into town pace uh, and uh, just the uh, excitement of getting into town and having some real food and her pace just ener you just get energized and your pace really picks up. Well, I'm definitely feeling that right now. Stephanie and I both are. We have just hustled. Uh, this last 3.8 miles and possibly record time in order to catch a shuttle uh, into Franklin and uh, so we can get us some, uh, some good food at a restaurant and, and cleaned up and, and, uh, and a little break and, and I've only been out here with Stephanie for uh, basically uh, seven days straight uh, and I think uh, Dixie, oh, may wonder why she's done clear uh, through hikes on 
the uh, Appalachian Trail and the uh, Pacific Crest Trail now. And uh, we've only put uh, seven days out. Well, we've been out in the field here for 12 days, I guess, but we took uh, two short days, six, six miles, uh, just before Neil Gap, and then we stayed at Neil's Gap uh, overnight and then, and then did the six miles there. But uh, we've been averaging, other than that, we've averaged about 10 miles, 10 or more miles a day for, uh, for 12 days, I guess. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go into town and, uh, and take a break and uh, we're almost there. So when I go into town, this will be the, uh, the end of my hike for now, anyway. Just sectioned hike from Amicalola Falls, from the visitor center to, uh, to Franklin and uh, that'll be it for me but Stephanie she will be heading on the rest of the way up to Maine <laughs>